Hello guys, welcome to Code Enzyme. Today we are going to make an image downloader. Uh, that is, if when we are given a list of images URLs, we can how can we download them using Python? And then I'm going to optimize using the asynchronous uh, programming uh, library in Python. So let's quickly get started. So I will first make a, a file name image down okay image downloader dot py. And uh, suppose we are given a list of image URLs, something like this. Uh, uh, I will call it image URL list. And uh, I want to download, I don't want to download all these images in the same folder because it will make my uh, make this folder messy. I'm going to make a first make a new folder. So making a new folder in the current directory. So let's import the OS module. And then I'm going to make a new folder. I will call add it uh, images. So let's just os dot mk okay dot mkdir. Uh, I will call that uh, new folder images. And uh, then I'm going to change the uh, change the directory. Os dot path dot join. Uh, very st standard stuff. Uh, os dot uh, get current working directory and i will join it with the name images so what this code is doing is it is making a new folder called images and then i am going to change the code so what uh, from this current folder to the new folder let's see if uh, th this much is working or not so i can see a new folder is created and the uh, and the python and what this line is doing is we is just changing the current working directory to the this one and the images folder not the not the this code test folder okay uh, so for now i will delete this folder and let's go to uh, let's uh, continue so uh, we want to to download all these images we need to have a function to which will take an a url and uh, the name of the image as the parameter and uh, download them so on that i am going to need a request module to make uh, url uh, http requests and uh, then i can use fine handling so i will define a function named download and it will take uh, the name of the okay first i will give the url as a parameter and then the name of the image as the parameter then i will call i will make a http request request dot get uh, url and then i will open a binary file to write these uh, write the contents of that uh, url in that uh, file so it will be f is equal to open name that uh, this name that we gave in the uh, function and i will open it in wb mode make sure that uh, you write this b and that the binary file opening mode and not the text file opening mode okay now once we open it all we have to do is write the contents of the uh, uh, request uh, response that we get so i've dot write content and once it is written i can close the file and uh, this is pretty much uh, simple and easy to understand and uh, i will just print it uh, print the name of the file that is that has been downloaded now i will also show you how much time it takes uh, so uh, to run this these codes uh, so i will import time module and uh, next i'm going to do is uh, so for now we have all these uh, uh, all the down the download function ready and if i give my url and name as the parameter it is going to download so i will call let's say i will make a variable not time dot time so and uh, i'm going to run a for loop for i in range len images image url list the name of this list that we have here and uh, for every i in this range i am going to call my download function uh, download and i will give the parameter as first that first parameter will be url which is the ith element at the ith index of this list and next i will create an f string uh, and it will be i plus one dot png you can use jpg png anything i think both of them works in general really most of the time it should not give any errors but uh, if it gives any errors i will also use the pil module to uh, convert 
if if it is a jpg jpg format i will convert them to png in that is not the scope of this video i will do it in some other video okay so once i have downloaded these images all these images i will also check how much time has been has been passed so i will do time dot time and uh, i will print time taken to show you how much time it takes uh, so t2 minus t1 seconds okay now let's run it and i just hope that it does not show any errors let's go and we can see an image folder is created and all these images are getting downloaded one by one not uh, all uh, and if uh, suppose the 5.6.png is a very small file then it should not have taken uh, okay we can see that uh, there are 26 images and it took approximately 13.42 seconds right um, and we can and the more the number of images will be it will take even more time to download so if i increase the number of uh, images in this list so 100 images for example it will be 100, if 100 images are there or 1000 images are there it will take uh, time uh, uh, to download all these images uh, one by one right and uh, the and i am going to uh, and i am going to optimize this using the asynchronous functions and uh, I will show you how to do it but uh, and there are two methods to do it one is the async io module uh, in built in python another is the uh, threading module and i find threading much simpler so i will show you that some i will show you the async io in some other video but uh, for now i will show you how much fast uh, this thing can become if i use the threading module so let's import threading module also and once we have threading we can uh, i will first make a, a list known as threads i will call it threads and i will run this for loop again and uh, i will make a temporary thread uh, temp thread threading dot thread not thread error thread and the target will be my download function and uh, arguments will be uh, this uh, inside a list uh, this image url list i and i.png in a list okay i'm going to start this temporary thread uh, temp dot start and uh, i will append threads dot append uh, temporary thread and uh, once we have this temporary thread uh, uh, once we have this uh, uh, list complete we can start all these threads at the same time in just single for loop i will for thread in threads thread dot join and once it is joined uh, this function uh, is running asynchronously now and it is very simple to understand uh, not uh, something like async io module and first i am going to delete all these images and see what happens um, okay so we see that from 13.42 seconds uh, it it is uh, now the code was completed in 3.09 seconds and the first image that was downloaded was not uh, one dot png one dot png should be somewhere one dot png uh huh one one dot png is right uh, is here and uh, the first image that was downloaded is 21 uh, 21 dot png and uh, so what is happening is uh, for 21.png to download 1.png uh, it is not waiting for the previous images to download all these images were started at the same time and finished different uh, at their own base it does not matter uh, what took uh, what happened first what happened last but uh, uh, this is how we can make our code asynchronous there are other ways also i'm not saying it is the only way but uh, this is one of the way and pretty much i think this is the simplest way to code uh, an asynchronous function so i hope you learned something new in this video and if you did kindly like share and subscribe 
I will see you guys with another quick project next time.